English students. My name is Sarah Al-Samani and I'm going to be your English instructor this semester. Um, we are going to have online classes, but I did want you to see my face and hear my voice and kind of get to know me as an instructor. I've taught for Wallace for several semesters as a full-time English instructor, but before I was a full-time English instructor, I worked at the Writing Center as a Writing Center coordinator for four and a half years, which meant that I tutored students in writing. So I've brought a lot of that knowledge into the classroom and even online. And so a lot of my teaching style um, focuses on helping you individually through the writing process, answering questions, guiding you through the writing process. I really wanna allay any fears you have about writing essays. A lot of students bring in past experiences whenever they're writing their essays and they, maybe if they had an instructor that made their paper bleed with red ink, they may, maybe get really, really nervous when they write essays. So I wanna be here to help you through the writing process. I certainly am never gonna make your essays bleed with red ink or anything. So um, just welcome to the English class and welcome to writing um, in our English class, which might be different than some of the previous English classes you've had. So I want us to talk about the five paragraph essay. Um, that's really the structure I prefer. Um, for those of you that maybe have not heard of the five paragraph essay or if it's been a little while since you've covered it, I want to do a brief overview. Also remember there is a short quiz today, so um, maybe make a couple of small notes just to prepare yourself. It's a 10 question multiple choice quiz. And so it's not going to challenge you to an extreme obviously, but just listen in for this next few minutes because there's going to be some um, hints essentially on um, what's going to be on the quiz. So. Um, the five paragraph essay structure, the first essay or first paragraph is the introduction paragraph. You introduce your topic, you introduce the idea that you're going to discuss in your essay to the reader. And so those usually range about five sentences. Typically that's a pretty short introduction paragraph. It can be longer as well, but I would say at minimum they're five sentences. The last sentence in the introduction paragraph is your thesis statement. Um, remember, statement, it can't be a question, it has to be one sentence summarizing your entire essay's point. Essentially, if you pull the thesis statement out of the essay, the reader knows exactly what your essay is about. And so, for example, say if you're writing about travel, your thesis statement might be something like, I have traveled to several countries all over the world. And so you've told the reader that you're going to discuss the countries you've traveled to internationally. So that way they know exactly what you're going to talk about. The other three paragraphs coming up after the introduction paragraph are your body paragraphs. That's when you essentially get into the specifics of your topic. So for that example, it could be that I have a paragraph about France, a paragraph about England, and a paragraph about New Zealand. Um, so those are the three body paragraphs. Remember, body paragraphs, I don't know if you've heard this before, but they always start with a topic sentence, essentially telling the reader what your topic is for that paragraph. So for the first body paragraph in that example, I mentioned France, the topic sentence might be something like, when I was in France, I explored Paris. And then you're gonna get into the specifics of what you saw in Paris and um, maybe the sights, and sounds, and smells, and that sort of thing. So. Um, then the last paragraph of a five paragraph essay is the conclusion paragraph. So that's when you conclude your topic. That's when you wrap up your ideas. A lot of students struggle with a conclusion paragraph because they say, oh, well, I've written everything. What else could I possibly say about this topic? I've covered everything I want to say. Well, honestly, it's what you want the reader to take away from the essay. What's the message? What's the lesson? Um, if there's a lesson to be learned, what is it? Essentially, it's the so what of your essay. Um, you want to kind of wrap up and give them an idea of what you want them to take away from the essay. So that essentially was a quick play-by-play -play on the five paragraph essay. Um, so just remember there is that quiz, a little 10 question quiz, so definitely focus in on this part of the video for that. Um, I want to emphasize as well, since this is an online class, everything is going to be through Blackboard. Um, as far as communication wise. So make sure you check your course mail in Blackboard often. I would say um, Monday through Friday, check it at least once daily um, because I am gonna correspond quite a bit through course mail. Also, I'll have announcements and discussion board posts. Those are really the main ways I'm gonna communicate with you guys um, because obviously we're not gonna be in person so there's only so much I can communicate in other ways. So I definitely recommend checking Blackboard Monday through Friday daily, definitely. 
Um, also, since we won't have normal attendance, notice like in the class I would call roll and we'd have like um, so-and-so here, you know, that kind of thing. But attendance is gonna be done through participation. So if you've done the assignment, you're gonna be marked as attending. But make sure you do the assignments. I've got the um, course calendar on the Getting Started page. Click into that, make sure you see um, weekly. I've got it laid out weekly on what you have to do each week. So if you've done the assignment, like say if there's a rough draft due and you've turned in your rough draft, you're gonna be marked as present. But just make sure that you do the assignments because say if you miss the rough draft due date and you haven't checked in Blackboard, haven't corresponded with me at all, there's a chance you'll be marked absent. So say if you do get marked absent, just let me know what's going on as far as if you were sick or if something came up with a family member or something like that. So um, just keep me informed of what's going on with you because obviously I can't see you in person and so this is a unique scenario where really corresponding with me through Blackboard is going to be a great way to make sure that I know what's going on with you and that I can help you get through the semester successfully. So, all right. Well, I know that was a lot of information to process, but welcome to my English class. I'm so glad to teach you um, and just let me know how I can help you through the semester. Feel free to send me any questions you have. Um, I've got my office number listed as well, so feel free to call me at any point. I am in the office pretty often now, um, even though we haven't officially come back. I've been coming into the office to work quite often, so feel free to um, email me, call me, um, anything like that. So I hope you have a wonderful summer semester. I hope you're all well and stay healthy and safe, and um, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Bye.